But we're not here to talk about him, we're talking about big splashes. Big splashes. Hello guys and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog, and today we're going to be talking to you about what our man Atkins mm. came out with yesterday, Ooh. saying, talking a little bit about the free agency that's coming up and mm. how the Blue Jays might be able to make a bit of a splash. Yeah. Before we get into it, please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. So, mm -hmm. our guy, Atkins, Atkins, the guy who, who you know, he will be the one spending the money or, or, or shelling out the, uh, mm -hmm. making, having a big influence on what we do yeah. the man in this who, off season. The man who created the new team, the mm -hmm. new team after 2016, the team that everyone, you know, all the fans who are bandwagoning in 2016, like, what's going on? Donaldson's leaving. Why would you free Donaldson? Well, here's why we're trading yeah, Donaldson. Exactly. This is why we're trading Donaldson for these guys. Exactly. Like, so, um, we haven't, yeah. you know, uh, like yet under his kind of, you know, regime, I guess. Uh, <laughs> like <laughs> our, our biggest, our biggest splash has been Ryu. Yeah. Um, and like, for those of you who don't know, we signed him to a four year, $80 million deal. So that's $20 million a year. So I'd say that that's like relatively, that's a decent, good. like I'd say, it's like we're not making, we're not doing a cannonball into the yeah. water, but making we're we're making like a we're we're getting in, we're getting yeah. in the pool, yeah. you know. Uh, I would say like like what are some what when he has when he says big splash, like, yeah. What does he mean, you know? Like, well, he's, he's got to be talking about a top guy. Big splash is what headlines are, you know. Like Rio was a headline, but it was more of a like after the fact mm -hmm. when like Wheeler was signed and, and Strasburg was signed, mm -hmm. and it was just like. You know, yeah, like, oh, like last Jonathan year, he was going to Trump. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, exactly. You know? Like Garrett Cole was a big splash. Oh, Garrett Cole. Brandon totally Don was, was a big right, splash. Right. Those are splashes. Uh, like, yeah, those those are splashes. Mm -hmm. Like when the Padres traded for Clevenger, I thought that was a pretty that big, a big splash. splash. Yeah. Um, you know, like these are the type of things that that you see and you yeah. go, holy moly! Like this really mm -hmm. is going to change things around. Yeah. And like. This year, I gotta admit, like the free agent pool doesn't have a lot of cannonballs in them. Mm -hmm. um, like, there's definitely a few, and like we're definitely gonna mention them. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, like last year, there's a ton of splashes. Where this year, if we want to actually make a big splash, we gotta get, we gotta be in that top conversation of uh, people. Yeah, like last year, there there seemed to be like there was a lot of good pitchers when you think about mm -hmm. it. You know, like when you had like uh, like I guess Strasburg got resigned, but you know he was you know mm -hmm. headed to free agency, and you had <laughs> Garrett Cole. Like he was obviously always mm -hmm. going to be a huge thing. Zach Wheeler, mm -hmm. Hunjin Ryu. Yeah. You know, it was like, like fourth, and like we got or arguably the third, honestly, yeah, and right like, up we there got with Wheeler, and, and like we, we got him, and uh, we did. So the question is now, mm -hmm. like looking at this free agent mm -hmm. uh pool like i'm gonna i'm gonna list off a couple names right yeah. now and um uh, yeah so here's a big one mm -hmm. and we were talking about this like literally when we were on our way to the dollar store like <laughs> just like a couple minutes ago yeah. but um jt real muto yeah that yeah. to me would be a big bloody That's splash a big splash and like here's the thing with gt real muto last year you had Grand Doll go to the White White Sox for seventy three wow, million. Totally forgot about yeah, Grand, Grand Doll too. Like that's how big of a splash last year was. Um, seventy three million in four years. I think GT Real Muto is going to make more than that. So oh yeah, you can expect eighty or more at least for Real Muto for four years. Yes. Um, yeah. So Real Muto though, the only the only thing is that we brought up the one thing that's kind of like stopping that we think would stop Adkins from signing him. Is our boy Alejandro Kirk? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know that's the thing, man. Is like it's been a crazy, crazy small sample size, mm -hmm. but it was also like a really good small sample size. Yeah, and you know, Danny Danny Jansen, although he has not been like that great with the bat this year, mm -hmm. seems like he's like a pretty integral part in yeah. not only just like for the pitchers, but also it seems like he has a, a important sway. I want to say. In the locker room, yeah, even. yeah. Um, they keep saying how how great of a role model, how accepting and friendly, like how inclusive he is, and that that to me is almost more important than what he can do, you know, on the field. In a sense, you have one, you, uh, you need a guy who can actually be that 
guy who brings outsiders in and mm-hmm. makes everyone feel like we're a ball club and we're playing for each other. Exactly, you know, and, and if he has that chemistry with, uh, you know, some of these other pitchers and with our, you know, with the bats that are already there, mm-hmm. and now we also have Kirk who, like, could end up being, you know, maybe our franchise catcher eventually if, if he continues with this and, and develops his defense a little yeah. bit more. I don't necessarily see us paying up the type yeah. of money that we would need to pay up for JTL Ruimuto when we have these two guys yeah. right now kind yeah. of circulating. They're our, like, they're our foundation right now. So mm-hmm. it's like we can't really um, can't really do that. Yeah. So that's probably the least likely. Like, I, Could I see it happen? Sure. Yeah. I could see it happening. But then you got to like them ask me questions. What do you do with these guys? So, mm-hmm. um, now, there is the next player I'm going to mention here. That wouldn't cause any disru- disruption in the in in where do you place guys? Who's gonna do that? Mm-hmm. Like this guy would fit absolutely perfectly, and his name is Trevor Bauer. Yeah, Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer, man. He's had he's had a really good season. Yeah, he's had a really really good season, and uh, he actually just came off of a um, like great performance in yeah. the in the playoffs too. Like you know they're sadly yeah you no know, run they're, support yeah they're <laughs> they're gone now. But like he had like twelve Ks and just yeah. like really really good stuff from yeah. Trevor Bauer. He has shown um, that he can be a dominant pitcher mm-hmm. in the MLB, and that's something that we need right yeah. now. You know we that's need a, a guy who is hole. gonna give us six innings, sometimes seven innings. Um, with a lot of K's and uh, and scare the batters away. Yeah. So we need we need a dominant rotation. Like our mm-hmm. our lineup, I'm not worried about. Mm-hmm. Like I think they're gonna make steps forward. Would I like to sign another guy? Sure, I wouldn't mind. Mm-hmm. But rotation. I, and when I read the article today about Atkins say talking splash, eighty percent of the conversation was pitching. So yeah. it's like I think everyone is on the same boat here that we need. To get Bauer. That's the only splash that's in the free agent market that would go, hello. Yeah. So when he's talking splash and we need pitching, Bauer is right there. Well, I, I think I think like that's the only splash pitching wise. Yes. You know, because like there yes. is like Real Muto would be a splash. There's also Springer. I think yes. that's George Springer would be a bit of a splash. And also like after the season that Marcelo Zuna has had, yeah, you know, yeah. he would be a bit of a splash. We can talk about them afterwards. But yeah, like mm-hmm. uh, like Trevor Bauer, man, like he would really, in my opinion, elevate us to yeah. another level because now we have we know for sure we have at least two i think aces yes. in yes. hunjin ryu and trevor bauer mm-hmm. and then you know we're still developing nate pearson and Who's he the future? <laughs> who is the future and and as time went on during the season uh like he looked better and better yeah uh, in his outings granted he would only pitch you know one two innings um, but he mm-hmm. was hitting 100 consistently. His fastball looked yeah. like it was hitting its spots, and that's what he needs to. Yeah. That's where he needs to start, bro. Like he's got to start like a Tyler Glass now. Get his two pitches down, and then he mm-hmm. can develop that work, that third one later. You know, yeah, but he yeah. needs that major league confidence, and yeah. he was starting to show that. Yeah. So if you had Ryu Bauer. Pearson, God. and then, you know, like, who cares? Yeah, like, the, the, the thing is, those two guys, the, the last two guys on rotation, we have so much pitching depth, like mm-hmm. starting pitching depth in the minor leagues, and you saw them a bit in the bullpen this year. We have so much. Mm-hmm. Like, someone's going to get that job, whether it be next year or in two years. Like, mm-hmm. someone's going to come up and take that job. So our rotation would be disgusting if we have a fully developed Pearson, Ryu Bauer, a semi with a developed yeah. semi Woods Richardson yeah. and like anyone else who decides to poke their head in that fifth spot. Mm, anyone exactly. Else. You know, I think that you know, out of like because we have so many guys, I think that someone will be like, "Hey, pick me. I have yeah. good stuff." Just, and they're gonna prove it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like they and and we will. You know, yeah. so Bauer would be awesome. Um, a yeah. good second place for us, man, uh, would actually be a guy who's already on the yeah. roster, and that is Taiwan yeah. Walker. Yeah, you know? I'd be okay with signing Taiwan Walker for like a three to four year deal. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, give him give him ten million a year. Like, I'm I'm okay. I'm that that's way better than Roark. Yeah, like way Literally. better than Roark. I do think he will get more than that. Um, yeah, like I think he's going to be more probably somewhere in, in the in the fifteen. Especially with how shallow the pool is this year, yes. they're probably yes. going to start feeding out more money. Yes, and he did do phenomenally with us, mm-hmm. so that's going to go into that contract talk as well. Yeah. 
But we're not here to talk about him. We're talking about big splashes. Big splashes. What do you think about, um, like like I said, mm-hmm. a George Springer or a Marcelo Zuna? Yeah, see, like, would I rather have? Honestly, I'd probably rather have a Zuna. Me too. Just because too. Springer had a down year. Um, and he's however, a cheater. And he's a cheater. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want some cheaters coming. Yeah, no, no. no. Um, however, uh, Ozuna... Uh, or, or, or these both these guys are outfielders. Mm-hmm. Um, and now this this brings up another question, kind of like Hatcher. It's like, what do we do with our other guys? Because mm-hmm. if you get one of these outfielders, regardless, you have our three outfielders right now in Hernandez, Larius Gurriel, and Grichik. I would probably put Hernandez out of there, depending on who is a better defender. Mm-hmm. You know, I think Springer's a better defender than Hernandez. But Ozuna, I haven't really seen him play, so yeah. I don't know. I know that Ozuna, like, also, too, like, he's got the he's got the build, he's got the makeup to be a, a really good DH as well. Yes, yes, um, right? So, so if, and that's, a, that's the question. If, if one of those guys gets slid into DH, what are you going to do with Tulez? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Vladdy's got to play every single day. But Teles is kind of knocking on the door like, hey, maybe I should be playing every single day too. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? That's the yeah. question. Uh, agreed, agreed. And I don't think that the management right now is going to be willing to shell out this money for these guys considering mm-hmm. we do have Teles being like, hey, like maybe I'm good. Unless yeah. they decide, hey, like maybe let's trade Teles or trade a yeah. Randall Grichik, for instance, yeah. uh, and, and like open up one of those spots and then – Make a move yeah. on an Ozuna, but yeah, they would have to get really creative. Exactly, we'd have to like they'd have to decide like we really want Marcel Ozuna or we really want George Springer, and we're gonna Over make some a moves. Guy. Exactly, we're gonna make so, some moves to make that happen. I don't, I don't necessarily see that happening. Yeah, that's there's one like other guy. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, no, there is maybe two. Yeah, I have a guy too. Maybe one of them is yours, but. I see it honestly. It's, yeah. I was gonna say DJ LeMay here. Yeah, DJ LeMay. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, I think that's a guy who is like, did did he win the batting thing? I think he did. Yeah. yeah. He won batting title. Yeah, that to me is a bit of a splash. <laughs> yeah, that is a splash. Yeah, because so. he would honestly fit perfect in our infield. Because we've been saying like the only way spot of the pitching would be maybe an infielder who could play third base, second base, mm-hmm. and he could play both. Yeah. Uh, so you know, Kevin Bishop is kind of. Let's say he moves over to third. So let's say he gets good at third base. Then we have DJ LeMahieu, then Bo Bichette at shortstop. DJ LeMahieu would be playing second. Like, that's a perfect slot. And that, com- and that, if you want to talk about filling up a lineup to perfection, that's the guy. That's yeah. the guy. Yeah, I mean, like, any guy who is going to hit, like, <laughs> yeah, like, whatever yeah. he hit, like, ridiculousness, you know. It's yeah. like, I feel like you can, like, this guy, it's like, you can just expect, like, at minimum, he's going to give you 300. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. at minimum, he will give you a 300 average. Yeah. And just, like, elite at, uh, just elite with the bat. Yeah. Now, my one thing about DJ LeMahieu is, though, like, mm-hmm. I just, I don't see the Yankees not mm-hmm. getting this guy back. I just That's don't true. see the Yankees. Yeah. Like, they have so, like, it's literally the Yankees. They have so much and this Yankees. guy, he was one of their healthiest guys. Like, he yeah. got injured for a very small section. Yeah. But, like, he was one of their healthiest guys and kind of carried them through yeah. when a lot of their other yeah. hitters weren't there. Yeah. He's been elite since he's been there. He just won the batting title. And yeah. you want to talk about an evil empire that likes to spend big on incredible players? Yeah. Why not spend big on yeah. a guy who's doing it for you already? I, I, yeah, I, I find it hard that he's going to leave, too. Especially, like, why wouldn't you want to play for New York? You mm-hmm. know? Like, why why would you come Why would you come play for the Jays? Yeah. <laughs> like, they're gonna, and they're going to pay up for you as well. Yeah. You know? They're going to yeah. pay up for you. And especially, yeah, to then come to what is a division rival. It just, like, ah, like it, it just mm-hmm. doesn't make any sense to me. And yeah. It doesn't make sense either. Yeah. Like, I don't Which really is really too bad. Because, like, I want him. Yeah, like, he, he, like, he's the guy. Like, if Ozuna or Springer played infield i'd be oh, like yeah. all for them yeah but they don't and but you know dj lemay who does and, and it's too bad that i i don't i think he's the least likely out of mm-hmm. all of those guys do you is anyone else that you think would like maybe make us would be considered a splash on that list because um, that's all i had for me i okay so i guess this guy i i have like three guys who i think like could be splashes mm-hmm. here um i don't think that like I again, I don't know if I don't think any of these guys are gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but one guy would be Nelson Cruz. Oh, God. Another guy would be James Paxton, and then a third guy would be Michael Brantley. Mm. I don't think that like 
they're not huge splashes. Like Nelson Cruz, I can see Nelson Cruz. Would be he like, would fit perfectly. Just put him in the DH spot. But like, like screw Raddy Tellez at that point. Like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like screw Raddy Tellez. <laughs> yeah, like, like, just sign him for like a one year deal. It's always, it, but that's the thing though. It's literally Rowdy. Like Rowdy is the thing that it's like for Ozuna, for like Nelson yeah. Cruz, like these guys. I'm just like. But it's rowdy. Like yeah, we have yeah. rowdy still. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I would rather have these guys, but we yeah, have rowdy. No rowdy. So, so we what are you gonna it. do? You know. So what do you think? I have I have two in mind that I would probably say would be the most. I'd want to see. I'd want to see these two would probably be the most satisfying. Just being like, okay, this this definitely is is gonna work. And it's going to impact our team moving forward. Not going to cause any disruption. Mm -hmm. I have two in mind. Um, do you have any in mind that like, you'd be like, yeah. Um, well, I, sure. I definitely Bauer. Definitely um, Bauer. I think it's me. like for number one. And then, you know, I guess like, again, like this guy in my mind isn't a huge splash because we already own him, but I'd say Taiwan Walker. Yeah. My, my second, and it's not going to happen, but if it did, I'd be like, hell yeah. It'd be DJ LeMayhew. Because I would fit excellent. Yeah. You know, let yeah, Groshans develop it would more. Fit excellent. It would just be excellent. It's not a two year deal. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Like, that'd be excellent. Literally, <laughs> though. And, uh, yeah, exactly. I, I just, I don't think that it will happen. No. You know, it would be like a huge flash, not necessarily because of, like, you know, who he is, but, like, just what it would mean to our team would yeah. be Marcus Stroman. Oh, God. That oh, would just God. be like a what? I, I, I actually don't want that. I not like Stroman, really. but, like, him and Grinchuk yeah. aren't like that's just you want to talk team chemistry don't get Marcus no Stroman. no and, they're, and <laughs> that's the thing is like they're not gonna they're not like, gonna that would be like a bit of a slap in the face to Randall Grinchuk actually Richard. if yeah. I was Randall Grinchuk I'd be like are you actually like fucking serious yeah right now? Like, like you like, you guys better like like the manager's like you better make up right now yeah I'm <laughs> like are you kidding me like you went out and got this guy like we yeah. could have gotten any other guy and you got this guy yeah like nah, and I'd rather have I, Walker than Marcus Stroman exactly like Stroman like he is a good solid pitcher like do mm -hmm. not get me wrong he's just got a bit of a freaking attitude yeah, problem an attitude. and I don't we don't need that right now yeah. we don't need we're attitude all, we're problems. all positivity here baby exactly you know and it's like it, like I will take an attitude problem from Trevor Bauer. Except, yeah. and, and the thing is, Trevor Bauer's attitude problem is like, I don't like. It's, it's not negative. Like, it was when he decided that he was going to whip a yeah, 100 mile yeah. per hour fastball, like, in the in bleachers the or whatever. <laughs> um, but, like, that didn't happen this year. Yeah, and yeah. now he's taking all that energy and putting it into making vlogs and stuff. Yeah, like. So, he, if you want to do that, yeah. Be my guest. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right, I, I'm I'm excited, man. Yeah. They better do some. They, if they don't do any move, I'm actually going to be very upset. They have to do something. They're gonna do something. I don't think. I think that we're gonna sadly be. We're probably gonna be disappointed. You know, man, I don't want it. Like they gotta start dishing out some cash, man. Yeah, like, yeah I do. Gotta... I definitely do want to see some cash. I'd be interested to note. Um, maybe we'll do this in another video. But mm -hmm. like looking at like what are some of the free agents, not this coming year, but the next coming year, you know, like, is it a big pitching class? Like, would it mm -hmm. be beneficial, like, to wait yeah. on it? And yeah. then, like, maybe there's a huge plethora of pitchers that drives the market down, mm -hmm. and then we can get them then. I don't know. Be tough but, uh, That's why you have general managers yeah. running this kind exactly, of stuff. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, I feel like I'm managing the Blue Jays with this podcast. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to come, Trevor Bauer, yeah. come. Come, we will please, accept you. Please come join our team. We're young. We're, we're excited. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below about a big splash. Who would be a big splash to you? And who would be your number one on the list of guys yes. to acquire? Yes. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Anchor, Breaker, Radio Public, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. And make sure to follow us on our Instagram and our Twitter. Thank you so, so much for watching. And go Jays, go.